Hello and welcome to Filter Copy. Now the exit polls on Sunday evening have brought a lot of cheer to the YSR Congress camp. And if the numbers hold on the 23rd of May when the counting of votes will take place, Jagan Mohan Reddy looks set to be the next Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. And this has led to intense speculation on who would be in top position as far as the bureaucracy is concerned should a YSRCP government take charge in Amravati. As far as the Chief Secretary's post is concerned, given how L.B. Subramaniam has conducted himself taking on Chandra Babu Naidu, calling him a Chief Minister without pass, he would have endeared himself to Jagan Mohan Reddy. In any case, L.B. Subramaniam was bypassed for the post of Chief Secretary and his junior A.C. Punita was given the post by Chandra Babu Naidu. So it's quite possible that Jagan would like to correct the wrong and continue L.B. Subramaniam as the Chief Secretary of Andhra Pradesh. L.V. Subramanian is also considered a fine officer with a lot of experience and so the administration would only be enriched by his leadership. Now there would also be changes in the postings of district collectors if Jagan Mohan Reddy becomes the chief minister as the party leadership is armed with a list of district collectors who behave like Telugu Desam men during the entire election process. So they will definitely go into loop line postings is the buzz in Andhra Pradesh. Now, in change in the post of DGP is another certainty given how the YSR Congress party had actually lobbied with the election commission to remove the present DGP, Apri Thakur, from the post till the entire election process got over. That did not happen. But for the moment, it looks like Gautam Savang, who is also of the 1986 batch of the IPS, could be a front runner if the YSR Congress government, if it takes charge, decides to replace the DGP and appoint a new person. The intelligence chief, again another controversial post uh, because of the manner in which A.B. Vankteshwar Rao was replaced by the election commission, is another post where Jagan Mohan Reddy would want an officer of his choice who he could trust completely. Now several names of officers are doing the rounds and some of these are people who were in important positions when Jagan's father, Vice Rashik Reddy, was chief minister of Andhra Pradesh between 2004 and 2009. Like PSR Anjanelu, who was Vijayawada Police Commissioner during YSR's time. There's also VSK Comedy who uh, looked into the Satyam investigation again during Vice Rajshekar Reddy's time. PSR Anjanelu is now with the BSF and said so there is a possibility that he could come back to the state cadre. So the next few days are likely to see a lot of shake-up in Amravati. But again, everything depends on how the numbers pan out on the 23rd of May. And should Jagan become the Chief Minister, definitely a shake-up in the Babu Dam is uh, almost certain. And if Chandra Babu Naidu manages a second term as Chief Minister in the bifurcated state of Andhra Pradesh, probably it will be status quo uh, for the time being. He would like to reward a number of officers who stood by him during his five years as Chief Minister. So interesting times, definitely as far as the entire IAS and IPS cadre in Andhra Pradesh is concerned. Do stay tuned to filter copy for the latest coming in from all over South India in this extremely interesting and riveting election season. Thanks very much for watching.